Hello guys, full time and a little bit more at the Emirates Stadium. We've had extra time, we've had penalty shootout. But Arsenal are through to the Champions League quarterfinals. Uh, <laughs> They've beaten Porto and David Raya is the hero saving uh, the final penalty. Obviously, on the way home, I realised he'd saved two penalties. From where I was sat behind the goal, it wasn't clear <clears throat> that he'd saved the first one. But that was actually the best save of, of the shootout. Amazing save. Anyway, back to the video. We got over the line in the end. Look, it, I'm very pleased for David. I mean, it's a big moment for him. It's been hard, you know, you come into the club, Aaron Ramsdale's so beloved here, and he had to win a lot of hearts and minds. Let's do this! It was a bit like being, you know, kind of the new boyfriend in a family where everyone loved the ex. They keep talking about how great he was, you know, he's a good cook, he always bought nice presents, so thoughtful, so kind. It's a little bit like that. And it's taken Raya a bit of time to kind of, as I say, win people's hearts, win people's minds. And what you need, if you're going to do that, is big moments. And the funny thing is that as a goalkeeper in this team, it's not been a great opportunity for him to have many big moments. Because the goalkeepers for Arsenal at the present point in time don't make a great deal of saves. So it's not like he's been called on for the kind of, you know, match by match acrobatic heroics that so endeared Aaron Ramsdale to the Arsenal fans and some of that is down to Raya um, in terms of his ability to keep Let's the ball his, his ability to come and get crosses you know he's helped sort of uh, create that secure back line a penalty shootout however is a perfect opportunity for a goalkeeper to be a hero and maybe after the weekend and Aaron Ramsdale being in the side making an error and making those saves he had an eventful day Maybe it was kind of destined for Ryder to come back in today and assert his credentials with that late save in the shootout. And Get the fuck out! Um, and he strangled me, that guy. Health and safety. I am going to have to move where I do this, I think. Um, no, I, I'm joking. I, so, yeah, very pleased for him. And I think that will do him the world of good. And fair play to Ramsdale. He was the first guy over to Ryder as well. Uh, it was interesting actually that fifth penalty you know every time the Porto goalkeeper had been taking the ball and handing it to the Porto penalty taker and I don't know why but for some reason he didn't do it on the last crucial spot kick they needed to score to win the game and it enabled Raya to get hold of the ball you know engage in semantics put the player off the fans behind the goal were brilliant as well chanting wanka wanka I don't know if those Portuguese players understand that but you know, it was still quite an intimidating atmosphere. Credit to Arsenal's takers, really good penalty kicks. Martin Odegaard, Bukayo Saka, uh, Declan Rice, Kai Havertz, really nice kick, really nice, sort of very composed, waited for the goalkeeper to move. And we got there, we got there. Um, I think it's so important. Arsenal through to the quarterfinals, first time, what is it, in eight attempts? Uh, I think first time in about 15 years. It's a big step for the club. Now, let's be clear, I don't think we were particularly convincing in the way that we made that step. I don't think this was a brilliant performance. I don't really think Arsenal did enough over the two legs to win the game. Um, but then neither did Porto, really, and it was quite clear tonight. You know, they were happy to sort of play for penalties, look for bits and pieces on the break. Their game plan worked to perfection almost. You know, the atmosphere was brilliant at kickoff. And uh, by about 25 minutes in, it kind of settled down. And that was in large part to Porto, who looked very composed, very organised. You know, some of their antics, I'm sure, will have infuriated. <laughs> uh, some of their antics will have infuriated supporters. Um, I follow you. You're amazing. Thanks, man. That guy just said, I follow you. That was very sweet. Let's do this! Let's do this! Uh, that's more like it. Um, but Porto sort of quit themselves well, they had a game plan, they are street smart, you know, and maybe we're not in this competition. And maybe as well, the Brentford game was kind of quite emotionally draining, physically draining. Maybe that took something out of us. Arteta really waited late to make the changes, to make the subs. And uh, they're in fine voice now. I'll let you see some of them. Yeah, so Arteta waited late to make the subs. Um, 
I guess he knew this could be a 120 minute game and he also knew we don't play again for a long time um, so yeah I, I think that may well have been part of it uh, I think maybe we could have done with some changes earlier <laughs> I love your glasses hey. thanks man um, Let's do this! Uh, you can't hijack the whole video though. I, I, I might try. Who do you support? Who do you, who do I support? Who do you think? I don't know. What's the video about? What do you reckon? I don't know. What's it about? Uh, okay, we're going to move on. I, I had to cut that guy off. Is it? I mean, it, it was derailing everything. Um, he could have made changes earlier, in my opinion. Great goal. Let's do this! Great goal from Trossard, uh, lovely finish. He's one of the best finishes in the club. Martin Odegaard as well, really lovely assist. Look, the important thing is we got there. Um, what, do we, what happens next? Quarter-final draw. Well, who do we want? Anyone but Man City, for me. Genuinely anyone but Man City, because if we get like a favourable draw, then that's great. And if we get like a, uh, a glamour club, a big club, a Real Madrid, bring it on, you know? That's what the Champions League's all about. I just don't want City. I don't want City. Um, I don't want it for because of hello, mate. I don't want it for the implications. Uh, Jamie Carragher made this point the other day. I think it's true. When the English clubs play each other in the Champions League, it always takes something out of them. It always does. It takes so much focus. So I don't want that. I don't want that. Um, we got there, guys. Congrats, to Arsenal. Congrats, to David Raya. Congrats to all these people who seem very happy. It's way past my bedtime. Um, I've got a little baby. <laughs> but it was worth it to stay up tonight. Um, I'll speak to you soon, guys. We've got an Ask Us Extra. I guess it is tomorrow. We've got a handbrake off tomorrow. Oh, it's all ahead of us. It's all ahead of us. Speak soon. And uh, thanks for watching. And if you were in the video, thanks for coming and saying hi. Uh, generally, I love it. People are so nice. Um, all right, guys, take care. Like, subscribe. Let's do this, etc., etc. You know how it goes. Bye bye.